There's two mistakes I see so many golfers make when it comes to short game on the golf course, and it honestly because is because of a misunderstanding or maybe a misconception that they have around the short game and some things that they feel that they have to do. So I'm going to talk about the two mistakes. I'm going to talk about what pros do instead and how we can fix that and at least clear the misconceptions so we can start hitting better shots around the green. Let's get into it. So when we talk short game, I give a lot of lessons and I see a lot of average golfers set up for a short game shot around the green. And it doesn't matter if it's three yards off the green or 33 yards off the green. The things that I often see, there's two major setup mistakes. And it is because, or the two things that they have is they put the ball way too far back in their stance. And then on top of that, they put the ball super far, or they put a bunch of weight super far forward with a ton of forward shaft lean. Let's talk about how both of them work. The reason why golfers do that is because they think that they can guarantee ball first contact. They think that they can make perfect contact because they're so afraid of chunking it and sculling it. And oftentimes the sequence that they have is what's wrong. And instead of fixing the sequence in the way that their body moves, They keep putting the ball farther back in their stance and they keep jamming the hands more and more and more forward. As they do that, a couple things happen. Number one, when we look at really good short game shots, they are not hit with a ton of forward shaft lean. If you're leaning that shaft 40 degrees forward, we don't hit shots with that much forward shaft lean. No good players do. Um, You're de-lofting the club so much. If you grab your 60 degree wedge, and you put that much forward shaft lean, it's like you're holding like a seven or an eight iron, which makes it very hard to get in the air, and it makes it very hard to control. The other thing that they do when you do all that is you get that leading edge digging or pointing down into the ground, which makes digging very common. And that is the root cause for so many players hitting bad shots. They're so afraid of leading edge digging, they don't want to chunk it, they don't want to scull it. So we're gonna stop burying the ball back on our stance we're going to stop putting 90% of our weight on our front leg at setup, and we're going to stop putting our shaft so far forward at setup. Because if you think you can just preset your body and then move the club, that's not the way it works. The biggest fault that I see is that players still make this poor contact. There's something I want you to think about. You put that ball back in your stance and you try to put 60% or 80% of your weight forward. What happens when you make a backswing is the golf club and the arms, that weigh something, right? And as you start to move that away from the golf ball, some pressure starts to move into your trail side. But the golfer doesn't recognize that because they said, okay, I'm going to put all the weight in my front foot. I'm going to leave it there. So then what happens is a little bit of pressure starts to move. They don't recognize that. Then they end up bottoming up behind, which can oftentimes lead to sculling it. If you're the player that's trying to hold that incredible amount of forward shaft lean, normally that's going to make your golf swing very steep. So then what happens is you're trying to hold that angle where we don't want to be super steep and we don't want to scull it. So then we start to hang back to try to shallow out. So those are the mistakes that we commonly see. Ball's too far back in our stance, hands are too far forward, and we try to preset a bunch of weight forward. When we look at really good players, Really good short game players. I'm talking standard shots. Obviously, with everything, yes, there's an extreme scenario that requires some ridiculous setup. I get that that happens. But if we look at most really good players, their setup is way more neutral. Their ball might be a little bit forward. Their ball might be a little bit back. But it's very rarely extreme. Their ball position is fairly neutral. Their shaft is very neutral, like very up and down, not leaning one way or the other. And their pressure is very neutral. Normally they start 50-50 or pretty close to it. The thing that separates good players from bad ones around the green is how they set up and then what they do once they've set up. These really good players, they set up very neutral. But as they make a backstroke, they start to get pressure into their lead side. Because you can't just get set up in a spot and hope that your body stays there. So if we were to talk about like weight distribution... Instead of the player who gets set up 80% on their lead side thinks that it's going to stay there and doesn't, what a pro does is they set up more 50-50 or 60-40.
But as they make a backswing, so as the club and arms start to move, they actually start to shift into their lead side. So they'll end up around that 70 or 80% of their lead side, but they move into it into their backswing. So now they can rotate their body around that lead leg. Instead of getting set up there thinking you can stay there, really good players move into their lead side in the backswing, then pivot around it in their downswing. That's the first massive misconception is the way that we move. Really good players are really neutral. They move in through lead side and they pivot around that lead leg. The second one has to do with releasing the golf club. So many players think that they have to hold the angle, right? That their hands have to get to the golf ball first. They want to make good contact. If you're making like a half shot, so let's say hip high to hip high, Players who are trying to quote unquote hold the angle get to that position and their hands are higher than the club head. That's not releasing the golf club. And when you look at really good players that want to utilize the bounce, that want to deliver some loft and that sequence properly, normally the club head finishes ahead of the hands or higher than the hands. Is that flipping it? It's not. It's releasing the golf club. Because remember, if you're a player trying to hit a 30-yard shot with your 60-degree wedge, you've got all that forward shaft and you're hanging on to that angle. The leading edge is pointing down. You're not delivering a ton of loft. And you're going to be super steep with the leading edge pointing down. That's usually a really good combination of a lot of poor short game shots. So letting the club head pass and letting us release all that stuff is what we want to do. The difference... Bad players set up with a ton of weight forward, start to move back without realizing it, and then try to release, and their low point is behind the golf ball, and they chunk it or skull it. Too far back. Low point's too far back. Really good players set up very neutral. They move into their lead side, and then as they pivot, they can release the golf club, and their low point ends up in the correct spot. Because sequentially, their body moved into the lead side in the backswing. They didn't start to hang back. So stop burying the ball back in your stance. Stop putting a ton of weight forward with a ton of forward shaft lean. When you watch and when you study really good short game players, they set up very neutral in their setup. They move into their lead side. And then when they pivot, they do it around that lead leg. There's a video in the description if you want to watch a breakdown. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is my first time trying technical here in audio. Uh, let me know if you like it. Good idea, bad idea. You guys give me some feedback. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll catch you next time.